Hey guys, Nika coming at you with another weekly garden update. Welcome to my channel. I do all kinds of videos, different types of videos, but I love my garden video because I love to show off my garden. So welcome to my channel. My name is Nika. Here is my garden, my weekly garden update. So, we'll start with these strawberries over here. See guys, I still have quite a few strawberries. I've been eating them. And they're starting to not be as many. Strawberry season, guys, but it's starting to taper down. And so are my chives. These are my chives. That's the last little bit. There's, the flowers are starting to dry up. I transplanted my parsley into this pot. It's not doing that great. So we'll see if that picks up. It's been in like three different pots this season. So we'll see what happens with that. Okay, guys, and my, my cilantro is starting to bolt. And look, it's making seeds. So I'm going to gather these seeds and put them back into this pot. Or I might start a plastic pot with this cilantro. Because plants really like plastic instead of wood. But look, it's making a lot of different seeds in there starting to seed up but those are really pretty flowers those are very beautiful flowers this is a real pretty plant and I had cilantro from I want to say February till about end of April it's a cool weather plant you get a lot of cilantro in the spring and in the fall. And here you go, guys. This is my potato plant. And I'm getting flowers on my potato plant. I've heard that once it starts flowering, your potatoes are ready. So we have this is one of those sneak a peek pots. So we'll look at that next week. And see if these potatoes are ready to pick and plant some more. And my basil finally took. And it's looking really healthy and strong. It, it was touch and go. I had to water this thing with my little squirt bottle about four or five times a day. Mm -hmm. At least in the morning and in the evening. But it finally took. So yay. And here's some more flowering plants. Look, my tomatoes are starting to flower. These are pear tomatoes. I believe these are pear tomatoes. So some of my tomatoes are doing good, not this one. This one's not doing that good, but I'll keep watering it, kind of like that basil. Let me see what happens. Still early enough in the season to get these going. This one too. Two. At least one of them took. The, I split both of those. These plant, these two tomato plants were growing together, and I split them apart. So, oh guys, I'm going to use this age-old fertilizer, and this is the grow. It's a, so it's a 1266, and it's for grow, and it, and it supplies plants with nutrients so that they'll grow. It's not the bloom season yet, but it's the grow season. And it says on the back of here that you can put one to three teaspoons per gallon. And it should help them to grow. So I'm going to fertilize my plants today with this and we'll see how it works. I'm actually getting tomatoes on some of my plants. This one's finally taking off a little bit. It's going to be just fine. And I'm getting some peppers coming in. I believe that's what these are. I put a lot of pepper seeds in this pot. 
I don't know what that is. It almost looks like a squash plant. I'm not sure what that is. If you know, leave it in the comment section below. It doesn't look like peppers to me. And I have a feeling it's squash, but I'm gonna leave it right there. So if you know what that is, let me know in the comment section. And my mint is doing good. I've been making spring rolls with these and a lot of, I'm trying to think of some other things to make. If you have some suggestions of what to make and cook with mint, let me know. This is some sweet mint and it tastes really good. And I have sweet peas growing. They're doing good. Even though they're in a wood container, I'm gonna have to get some more of those plastic containers, but I probably won't do it till next year because these are already starting to grow. I'm just going to let them go at it and have some beans growing. And I'm actually getting beans on these. See? I'm getting beans on my plants, guys. Mm -mm -mm. I love fresh green beans. And my celery is starting to seed. It too is flowering. This is a cool weather plant and it's starting to seed. So we're going to be doing some seed harvesting guys in midsummer. But this is the third year for this celery plant and it's doing actually doing pretty good. I, I didn't realize I didn't have to plant celery every year. So I have two now. I started, I was told that you plant celery every other year but this is its third year and it's doing fine and here's my other salary i started just this year and it's not seeding up so i'm not sure what that's about i'm experimenting with that and i have squash growing in this pot and that's why i think that it's not a pepper plant this is that's a squash plant it's probably going to end up in here this is my asparagus, <clears throat> and it's the end of the season for asparagus right now. I think it only comes in the spring, but we'll find out. But it's really taking off, this asparagus pot. I'm so excited about that. It's, it's taking off. And my blueberries are starting to make themselves at home in this pot and I do have some blueberries. They haven't turned blue yet. But they are definitely there. Let's see. There are blueberries. Not very many, but at least it's this is its second season being in this pot. So every year it'll probably get better, I'm hoping. But my raspberries are doing fantastic. Look at that. Raspberries are interesting. And they are prickly. So if you pull them off, see that leaves that little white thing. That's why raspberries look like that. And they have that little hole in them. That's why they look like that when you see them in a package. Isn't that cool? I've always wondered about raspberries and now I'm growing them. This is so neat to me. I just love this. I'd love to be able to grow my own food. Mmm, and they're delicious too. I have quite a few of them. See, look. I'm gonna be picking them and just eating them like I've been doing the strawberries. They are so good, oh my goodness. I am so glad I bought this raspberry plant. I almost didn't buy it because I was like, wow, I wonder if I could grow raspberries. But you can. And it's a pretty big plant too, look. That's a good sized plant. And this is its second year. And I put these tomato cages in here just to hold them up because they grow vines. And I'm just gonna just keep twining them around in themselves and making a bush out of them. I'm not sure how they grow on the ground, but these are really, really good. I'm just loving this plant. Just getting a big 
kick out of this plant. And my cucumbers are growing good. They're starting to really grow good, especially in these plastic containers. So I'm gonna have to get more of these plastic containers. I'm replacing the wood with plastic because the wood's not doing very good. And this lettuce is not doing very good. I'm gonna have to find a new container for it. Um, I might end up putting strawberries in this container. But I'm gonna transplant these. And my onions are coming in. They are looking really good. I have reds and whites and yellows in this container. And the okra's doing good. These are the ones that I split. I'll leave that link in the description box below. They are doing good, look at that. And what I love about containers, I can turn them around. And so they'll get sun, these little ones will get sun. They were in the back and I just turned this pot just about an hour ago. And my spinach is not doing good. That part's doing good, some of it's doing good. I'm gonna have to do a little research on that. If you have any suggestions about this spinach, please leave it in the comment section below. I'm, I'm, I fail at growing spinach. So any suggestions you could give me, that would be so helpful. I would really love that. Okay guys, so I had some of this diatomaceous dirt that I bought as food grade. I got this at Chewy's. It was $8 for this big old bag, which was really a good deal. And I put some of that on this broccoli. I didn't know what was eating my broccoli. And somebody suggested to use that. It seems like it's helping. Look. Looks like it's helping. I'm getting some fresh leaves in there that aren't being eaten. And they, the person that left that comment, and I'm sorry I forgot who you you are. I am so sorry. But thank you for that comment. I will be always thankful for that because I'm going to get broccoli this year. And it worked. Look. I'm starting to get I'm starting to get new growth there and it's not getting eaten. So it worked. Okay, guys, so that's my little container garden that I have. I appreciate every comment, every like, every subscribe. I thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Everybody, you have a wonderful evening. Bye.